ladies and gentlemen, this came out on CNN Business as of January 1st. Minimum wage will be going up in states, about 20 states in the country. Now, it's not going to be much of a raise for some people, but for others, it will be a lot more significant. So this is CNN Business, December 30th, 2020. Minimum wage will go up in 20 states. So come Friday, many low-wage workers across the U.S. are getting a pay bump. 20 states are raising their minimum wage rates, some by pennies, other by dollar or more as part of previously scheduled efforts to adjust the cost of living gains or to ratchet up towards goals like 15 an hour minimum wage. So you're not going to get 15, but it is a little bump compared to what you were getting before. So for example, New Mexico, the minimum wage will increase $1 and 50 cents. So it's currently $9 an hour for minimum wage in that state and effective January 1st, it's $10 and 50 cents. For California, anybody that has 26 or more employees will get a raise of from $13 an hour to $14 an hour. So theirs is going up $1. In Minnesota, you are just getting an additional eight cents per hour. Damn, Minnesota, you are stingy. Eight cents. So if you get $10 an hour, you will get $10 and eight cents an hour. So here are the 20 states that will be getting an increase. Alaska will be going up 15 cents per hour, Arizona 15 cents, a dollar an hour more in Arkansas, California, 32 cents uh, for Colorado, nine cents for Florida, Illinois, an additional $1 an hour, 15 cents for Maine, 75 cents for Maryland, Massachusetts, 75 cents, Minnesota, eight cents, Missouri, 85 cents, Montana, 10 cents, New Jersey, $1 more per hour, New Mexico, $1.50, New York, 70 cents more per hour, Ohio, 10 cents, South Dakota, 15 cents, 79 cents for Vermont and Washington, 19 cents. So that's how much more per hour you will get. The federal minimum wage of $7.25 per hour hasn't changed since 2009. That's a disgrace. And as of 2021, 20 U.S. states will continue to have a minimum wage of either equal to or below the federal level, making $7.25 their default base. The value of federal minimum wage peaked in 1968, when it was $1.60 per hour, which would be worth $12 an hour in 2020. Although some states of the new state increases were set in place years before, they carry additional significance now when low-wage workers have been hit particularly hard by coronavirus pandemic. We have lots of low-wage service workers who are working through the COVID crisis, many of whom are in jobs with a great risk of transmission. Ken Jacobs, chair of the Center for Labor Research and Education at the University of California, Berkeley, this will be a very welcome boost to them. As well, a lot of families are struggling right now in this crisis. Workers' needs are greater during the economic downturn because with so many people jobless, we have little bargaining power and employers are able to keep wages low. Ben Zipper, an economist at the Economic Policy Institute, a progressive think tank. 
Minimum wage workers are typically younger and predominantly have jobs in the leisure and hospitality sector. Federal data shows these service heavy businesses have been rocked throughout the pandemic as public health and safety measures have triggered closures of restaurants, hotels, and entertainment venues. As the pandemic has raged on, housing and food insecurity has risen and incomes have fallen, and it's been lower wage workers who have suffered the brunt of the economic fallout. At the same time, some legislators and business organizations have called for a pause on scheduled minimum wages hikes, citing the burden of small businesses that are already struggling. New York members of the Senate Republic um, Conference, they urged the governor, Andrew Cuomo, to stop the planned increases slated to go into effect Thursday. Well, people need money. I don't know why Republicans are out here trying to stop anything. Y'all have been a thorn in everybody's side, for real. We don't want our small businesses to make the difficult choice of laying off workers or closing the door to their businesses because of the final straw during the financial fragility of the pandemic. This is Republican leader Rob Ott, um, Ort, I'm sorry, Ort, said in a statement early December. Well, he needs to go somewhere and shut up. All right, y'all. So that's where it stands. So you have 20 states that are going to increase their minimum wage as of January 1st. And as you can see on the chart, it is showing some, well, I'm just looking at my state. I think that is the old rate. So, and I know in my state, it's going to be a dollar more an hour. So it is right now it says 11, but it really should be 12 an hour for minimum wage here. So this chart is showing old wages and just go online and pull up the stories, especially if you're in a state where this is impacted one of the 20 states. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.